In this video, I demonstrate how to add images and image links to your article. As mentioned previously, you want to mix in plenty of images into your text to achieve better visual balance and improve readability. However, before you add images to articles, organize them into specific folders. This makes them easier to find and manage. Let me demonstrate now how to create a new image folder. What you want to do is access the Media Manager from the main menu. Let's go ahead and save and close our article. We'll come back to this in a moment and put in some images. But let's first create a folder for those images and then upload some images from the sample folder and then we're ready to go back to this article. So from the main menu, choose Content, Media Manager. This will show you the default manager that you got when you installed Joomla. We want to create a new folder so click on the Create New Folder button. Give your folder a name. I'm going to call mine Learn Images. And after you've named your folder, click on the Create Folder button to create your new folder. We can see it here in the middle of my manager. Now we're ready to upload images. This involves four steps. First, click on your new folder to open it. Then click the Upload button here in the upper left-hand corner. Then click the Choose Files button. Now what you want to do is browse to the location of the file you want to add to the manager. In this case, you want to browse to the course sample folder that you downloaded to your computer at the start of the course. I have mine on the desktop. They're called Joomla Sample Folder. And I'm going to upload the Sedona 1 JPEG file. Once you've selected your file, make sure that you can see it right here next to the Upload File, Choose Files button, and then click on the Start Upload button. Joomla then inserts the new image into your Learn Images folder. You should see an Upload Complete message with the name of your folder and then the name of the file that you uploaded. Now you're ready to add this image to your article. Let's go back to the article by choosing Content Article Manager from the main menu. Click on your page one article that we created earlier. Now choose the location on the page where you want to insert the image. I'm going to choose to put this after my notepad word. Press the return key to add a space. And now from the bottom of the editor, this is a little bit tricky, there's an image button. Click on that image button that brings up this dialog that shows your media manager inside of it. Go ahead and open up the Learn Images folder. Click on the Sedona image in there. Make sure that the image URL reads sedona1.jpg. You should also see your folder that you created. Be sure to add an image description. Leave the image float to the default. You can add a caption if you wish and an image title. If you do add a caption, there's a caption class that you can apply that will enter to the class fig caption element. Double check that everything is okay and then click on the insert button. That will insert the image into the article. Notice that the image is a little bit too big. It doesn't really fit the content that I have here. So let me now show you how to use the insert slash edit image button here at the top to make some edits to this image. Click the image to select it and then click on the insert slash edit image button at the top of the article. You'll see your source here, image description. In the dimensions, put in 300 and make sure the constrained proportions is checked. Now it's not a good idea to resize images this way. Better to use Photoshop, but I wanted to demonstrate this tool. This is also a good way to maybe test out several different image sizes to see what looks best on your page write the proportions down, and then permanently resize the image in Photoshop and then reinsert it into Joomla. Click OK to close the dialog, and notice your image is much smaller. And when you're finished, click on the Save button to save your changes. If you have a project requiring a lot of images, you'll want to link to these images rather than uploading them all to your Joomla Media Library. This saves time, keeps your site smaller, makes backup much easier, and generally site administration much easier. I've had clients that had so many images in their media library that their sites got so big that they couldn't back them up anymore. So to link to your files, all you'll need is the URL of your images. You'll add this URL to the image URL text field in the insert image dialog that I showed you earlier, 
or in the insert edit image dialog. Let me show you where this is. Click on the image and then click on the insert edit image button here at the top of the editor. You want to put that URL right here in the source box. File or photo cloud services such as Dropbox, MugMug, Flickr, and many others, if you upload your images to them, will provide this URL for you. To see how this works, I've prepared a photo for you in my Dropbox account, and here is the URL. Copy and paste this URL into the source box right here. I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste mine in rather than typing in this long URL. Check yours with my description right here very carefully and then click OK. You won't see that image yet but as soon as you go to the front end and if you're connected to the internet that image will then appear right inside of your article. You can see the advantage of this method is that you've saved all that memory space in your website keeping it nice and small and making it much easier to administer. To finish up and move on to the next video creating a new home page go ahead and click on the save and close button to close out the editor and get back here to the article manager.